Cross Pilot extension may unexpectedly appear in your browser, making it impossible to use, as every single attempt to search on Google throws you to a strange website. In this video, I will explain what Cross Pilot extension is, how it appeared, and how to remove it. Okay, to begin with, let's understand the core of the problem. This extension is a malicious web browser plugin that falls into the category of browser hijackers or, as some people call them, search redirect viruses. Their purpose and main symptoms are in the name, to take control of the user browser and route all the queries to another search engine, one that the fraudsters need. So, let's proceed with the removal, because people are desperate to get their systems back to normal. To get rid of the cross-pilot extension automatically, an anti-malware scan is needed. For that purpose, I recommend using Grigio's Soft Anti-Malware. It is a highly efficient malware removal tool that will find and remove even the most modern and sneaky malware, leave alone browser hijackers. Download it by the link in the video description and run a full scan, so the entirety of your system will be checked for malware. The process will take 10 to 15 minutes. As the alternative option, you can try the Liar Strain Remover program. This antivirus has less fancy functions, but still does the job and will make your system free of any browser hijackers in just a few minutes. You will need to run a full scan to check every corner of the system for possible viruses. And once again, it will take around 15 minutes, depending on the size of your disk. And while the scan is running, let's talk about why this extension appeared and how you can remove it manually. The most common way for such junk browser extensions to get into your system is through malicious ads on the web, that often appear due to the adware activity in the system. While casually browsing, you could have encountered a banner that says, quote-unquote, install this recommended extension to view the content. And that is it, crooks simply bait people into installing questionable browser extensions, which further end up with all the symptoms. What malicious extensions do is intercepting your search queries and directing them to another search engine. This may sound like not a big deal, but during the redirect, the website that the extension throws you to collects user information, usually what you have requested, your AP address, location, language settings, and so on. All this data is further sold to advertisers without your consent. One more risk hides in the search results of these dubious search engines. They are heavily infused with ads, and that is just the first thing that gets into an eye. Though a much bigger problem is that during the aforementioned redirection, there may be an intermediary website that adds more parameters to the query. This eventually allows them to alter the results and make phishing sites appear on the search page. Okay, it is clear now that the hijacker extension is not a good thing to have in the system. Now let's discuss how you can remove the thing manually. The most obvious way through the extension tab just would not work, as during the installation this extension tinkers with registry keys of the browser. As a result of this, you see the infamous Manage by your organization line. Reverting this line so you can consequently remove the extension will require going through register keys and deleting the one responsible for the problem. You see them now on the screen, and I will duplicate them to the video description. The problem with all this manual removal stuff is that the source of the problem, actually the adware, will remain in the system, so there is a high chance of the problem getting back with time. That is exactly the reason why I recommended the automated removal method first. Grievance Soft and Time Malware will not just delete the plugin, but also wipe out the adware and fix all the changes that it did to the system. And while we were talking, Grievance Soft and Time Malware finished the scan. To clean up the detected malicious files and extensions, click the Clean Now button. As there may be quite a lot of detected files, their removal may also take some time. Now the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.